What's going on everybody? C4 here and welcome to the debut episode of the Portland Snowhawks. Finally it is here. I'm excited because, you know, have not been having the best of times in Madden. I think this series here where it's not so much, oh my god, you gotta try hard, I can't believe you're not trying to make this as realistic as possible. This is just where you can kind of shut that off and we can chill. We are doing the debut episode. So last week... We did the introduction, which was, you know, how do you guys want me to format this? Did you want me to do a fantasy draft? Did you want me to kind of take uh, from the Huskies franchise of Madden 17 where we did a, you know, expansion, pretty realistic expansion draft for the most part? And, and the number one thing, a bunch of answers came in. The number one thing was people did not want to see the fantasy draft. And that was the way I wasn't really wanting to go. The only way I was going to do it is if that's what everyone wanted to see. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here today is I think the better the two, a modified expansion draft. I actually have six players that I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm not going to try to, I'm going to acquire to our base charger team before I relocate them to Portland. And how this is going to work, some of these guys that we are going to get, uh, we're going to have to resign and extend and stuff like that because I think they might be on short-term deals. I try to get guys that may be on the outs with their team, their depth type players, uh, we'll just bring them in. I guess maybe we'll have to make it a point that we have to re-sign them. But the biggest thing for our Chargers, the way that we're going to be able to shape our roster, is remember when the Chargers were thinking about relocating and Philip Rivers came out in the media, there was a story that, you know, if the Chargers moved, he wanted to get traded. He did not want to be on the team anymore. So what we are going to do is every player on the San Diego Chargers, win, or LA Chargers, whatever you want to call them, when we relocate, if they are not on the rookie deals, so players after four years, four years and after, um, they're going up on the trade block, so if they get offers, they can go somewhere else. We will move on from them, grab some picks, grab some players. That's a good, fun way. I, th I think that's the best way of doing it, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, might as well do the first thing here is, if you guys want to get involved with this series, I have a Patreon page, which is linked in the video description below. I'm not going to go super you know, hard on everything that uh, we offer. But we have, you know, different packages that you guys can donate and get involved. The draft will be happening next episode. We have 10 players right now that are going to be included. Uh, I'd like to be more. If you if you want to feel like donating, you can't donate right now, and you want to donate later on, I'm actually kind of, I kind of hope at least one or two of you guys do it because I want to have some sick undrafted free agents. Or maybe we can go the road where you want to pay a bunch of money, have a guy that's 30, a veteran. A, cr a custom veteran coming in off free agency that's a monster. That is definitely an approach we, we can do. Uh, but definitely check out the Patreon. While I'm just talking about this little segment, I'll be popping up the quick little graphics of what you get by supporting my channel and getting something extra out of this series. So, you know, we have we actually have one dude that got the Lane Johnson package. He's an absolute legend. And as always, guys, if you know you want to be a little bit popular, check the video description below the Patreon page. It is a link of everyone that has supported me with their real government names. So uh, please don't dox them or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's start a little mini expansion draft on what I'm going to try to do. I have six prospects I want to bring in. First thing is first, when you look at the Chargers, we're not going to have a QB. Philip Rivers is going to be thrown out the trade box. Same with Clemens, same with Cardale Jones. So look at the Philadelphia Eagles who want to get younger at the quarterback spot and take on a player with less of a cap hit, we are going to have big, you know what, big sick Nick as our backup QB, um, who will eventually be our starter. Uh, our year one starter. You know, that, that's what we'll keep him at. I'm going to pick number two. You probably just saw us. Wait, I will just do it here because we're here. Pick number two, Jalen Collins, who is on the outs with the Atlanta Falcons. Multiple suspensions. Very talented player. When Desmond Trufant went down, he was a crucial part of the Falcons, but they probably want to cut ties with him. They're sick and tired of the headache. I'm surprised he hasn't been cut yet. So we, when you look at our corners, you know, we've got some young guys. See, we don't get a whole bunch. We have some veterans. We're going to give them Michael Davis. I don't know. We, 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 oh, we don't have the cap. What the fuck? We probably have brutal cat space, don't we? Okay. Okay, guys, I wasn't prepared for this. Who's someone 100% that's not going to be staying on a roster that we could just... We don't need to keep this super, super crazy. Uh, how about this? How about this? Here's Antonio Gates. Antonio Gates, there's zero chance. Antonio Gates wants to go to a team that might have a Super Bowl contention. That This, this works out well. Um, so moving on to the running back spot. Kenyon Burner, he was originally on the Chargers, very good with the Philadelphia Eagles, excellent, excellent special teamer, I really feel like he's a little bit better than Brandon, we don't need him, it's more so, I'm just being kind of greedy, so we'll add Kenyon Burner onto the roster, so that's so far, Nick Foles, Jalen Collins, Kenyon Burner, next up, we're looking at the wide receiver spot, we're going with the man, 
the meme, the legend, Josh Gordon. I figure why not have Josh Gordon on this roster? When you look at the Chargers, plenty of young wide receivers. Unfortunately, one guy we're, we're, we're not going to be able to keep Keenan Allen as he just got re-extended. Uh, but there is some talent there. But what we'll do is we'll give them Dontrell Inman. Uh, we have two more guys in the secondary that I was able to select in this little expansion draft, if you will. First thing is another corner. Corner is a spot I feel like we're going to be hurting on a little bit. So we're just looking real deep for depth, guys. And we have Mackenzie Alexander from Clemson. There was a point in time when he was regarded as one of the top corners in the draft class. Just absolutely buried there in uh, the, the Vikings. So it was a really, really good secondary. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll offer this guy. Thank you very much. And last but not least, we're looking at safety. Safety is a position that the Chargers have old veteran type players. So we need to look in and bring in some young guy. What we get, staying with the mold of getting troubled players. We have TJ McDonald, who was, you know, really big time hitter, big time player at USC, really. Uh, coming back to California after he got kicked off the Rams, I believe. And then, um, there we go. We give Jalil Adai. I don't know what, what he did exactly. I don't know if it was domestic battery or something like that. But there you go. Those are the six selections we've decided to make in a mini expansion. Not a full-on expansion like we did last year with the Huskies, which is absolutely nuts. But we got some decent players. Now it's time to pop into the series. And we will start off this episode with uh, throwing out the players that are now available to leave. Not that They might not all leave. We might not get an offer for Philip Rivers. That, that's, that's kind of like the, the plus minus in this. Is that not every player that we're going to throw up is going to you know attract another buyer, attract a team that's willing to trade for us. But I, I figure a lot of these guys will. So what we're going to do here in episode one, we're going to trade our roster, kind of get an idea. We'll you know, start the relocation to Portland. And then episode two will open up with the draft of the Patreons. But let's jump into this franchise and get it going. All right, so here we go. First step is first, we need to begin the relocation process so we can get to uh, Portland. Um, looking at our roster, that's the only real thing that's going to be awkward is when it comes to contract time who we really want to keep and not. But, you know, it's time for guys that can go on the trade block that will. So that means Philip Rivers, you can be on the trade block. Thank you very much. Kellen Clemens, we, we're we just, I don't know. We're, we're just going to cut. Ah, we have to hold on to it for now. I guess we'll just go with predominantly. No one's going to offer anything for Kellen Clemens. Uh, running back, we get all these guys can stay. Gordon can stay. Oliver can stay. Kenyon Barner, who we got in the expansion draft, can stay. Uh, fullback can stay. Wide receivers, this one's going to sting. Keenan Allen just signed his new deal, but now he has the luxury that he can leave. But outside of that, man, we have good young wide receivers. We have Tyrell Williams. Benjamin has to go up on the trade block after they signed him in free agency from the Browns. But Tyrell Williams, we have Josh Gordon from the expansion draft, and Mike Williams, the rookie. Things could be worse. We have a good young wide receiver core. Uh, tight end, Hunter Henry, that, that's a monster. 22-89 overall. Absolute beast. Uh, none of these guys are going to get, they'll probably get roster cuts. Uh, we got, oh, Kuhn has to, ah, oh, Jesus. I think our O-line is going to get absolutely pillows here. Slauson, you can go up on the trade block. What do we got? Show, he's on year three. That's not bad. Pulley can stay. Forrest Lamp and Dan Feeney. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make Dan Feeney another scouting. Our guard spots should be good. Both these guys were regarded as some of the top guards in their draft classes. So we'll have Dan Feeney here. And four slave. Four slave also can play right tackle. But um Alright. Hairston, I don't know. I don't think anyone's gonna offer for any of these dudes, but I guess we'll see. Just what's he see in six? Give them the benefit of the doubt in case they want to leave. Now now it's now we can't look at this as who is gonna give us extra value. We have to look at this as players that have the opportunity to leave. Can they? We have Joey Bosa, who I actually don't know if he's incredibly overpowered. Last year Madden 17 was one of the most overpowered guys in the sim. How he's gonna be this year, I'm not so sure. Oh, Melvin Ingram's going to be gone. No. No. We still have a toe shoe, right? We have decent depth. We probably could re-sign him. Uh, D-tackle, Corey Luge. I have no idea. Legit. If that was in, if that's, a, that's the worst. That's one of the hardest things to pronounce because in Canada, that's Luge 100% of the time. And I guarantee it doesn't even sound close to that in America. All right. We'll have him to the trade block. Me, Bane to the trade block. An old veteran. I feel like we might be able to hold on to him. Colin Manuel will stay. Call Emmanuel from North Dakota State. Carson Wentz, his teammate. Perriman can stay. Toomer has to go up on the trade block. But, man, our linebacking core is going to be real nice. Secondary, Casey Hayward's going to be gone. Oops. I wonder if we could try to make some trades. 
what I'm saying? Like, maybe we should try to trade some of these dudes. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to get into that mold. Trey Boston is in year three. I know he like he got cut, so I guess we could hold on to Trey Boston for now. Uh, I don't think anyone's gonna go in for our kickers. I wonder how many. I hope we do get some player for trip player trades. I just don't want to have a bunch of draft picks. Um, so yeah, we'll let's go here. We'll just start simulating through the weeks, see what kind of trades may come available, and we'll we'll make we'll make uh, you guys realize just how sick our team is not gonna look in year one once we lose all these guys. All right, so here we got the first wave of trade offers. No Philip Rivers yet, which is pretty interesting. Or Okun, an 80 overall tackle. But first, we have Melvin Ingram. He's 90. Oh, it's got sting. So we get a first rounder from Cincinnati, a first rounder from Buffalo. Bunch of first rounders. Not a whole lot of player trades. I'd rather actually a player trade. So I guess we're going to go with what team is going to have the lowest draft pick. Bengals, Buffalo, Houston. Okay, definitely not Houston. Definitely not Seattle. New. Oh, that's a good one. All right. I think. I think we know. I think we're gonna have to send him up here to the New York Jets. Thank you very much, New York Jets. They're gonna suck. You with Mel Ingram. That should be enough to get us a uh, a top ten pick. All right. Here we have Corey Luge. I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue to call him Luge. Second and a seventh. Second and a seventh. First rounder from New England. Second and a seventh. Second. We're going to get... We're, I swear to God, we're doing a normal rebuild here on YouTube with all these first round picks we're acquiring. But there you go. There you go, Patriots. That's actually like a big deal for the Patriots. Patriots would do that. I think Corey Luge to the right team could warrant a first round pick. Casey Hayward, this one's going to sting because it's really hard to get good corners. A first and a seventh from Houston, Minnesota. Just trying to get every single corner. The Redskins, I can't do it. Simply can't do it with the Redskins. Atlanta, can't do it. They're too strong. We don't want to make a stronger team even better. Buffalo, Cincinnati. You know what? We'll send them to the Bengals. There you go. Bengals need to get younger at corner. Big time. So we got three first round picks and then Keenan out. Again, we're trying to use as much strategy as possible by not sending him to a, a team that absolutely would would wreck. Right now, Redskins looking like the top guy. Falcons, nope, that's a massacre. Colts, ooh. Colts aren't in our division, right? Buffalo or the Colts? Who's gonna suck more, the Bills or the... Give them to the Bills. So we just but grabbed a bunch of first round picks. I mean, we probably could look for player trades, but I think when you go into player trades, things get a little more, yeah, I probably could have flipped all those guys for a really good team. So let's pop into the next couple weeks. Hopefully, you know, we lose a couple more players and they want to leave. And then we can address it from there. All right, we're in week three of the preseason. Two more trade offers to come up. One for Russell Okun. So we got a third, a second, a second and a seventh from Tampa or Chicago. We figured the Bears probably would be the better bet there to get some decent picks. Higher, anyways. And then we have Travis Benjamin, 79 overall burner. Still nothing for Phillip Rivers. Third and a seventh, second, fourth and a seventh, a second, a second from. Do we? I want to take the Eagles. Can we just take the second five and a seven? Ah, uh, we just get more value. We got to go for value, even though man, the Philadelphia Eagles don't need Travis Benjamin. All right, let's see if we get anything in week four of the preseason. All right, so this no one wanted Philip Rivers, so he's really the only surprising guy that was available for us to lose that we didn't. Which kind of throws a wrench, I think. This guy did want to play with Nick Foles a little bit. Uh, Mebane's still here. He's a 79. That's it, man, really. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to free agency. And because this is the first time for me that I want to take a realistic approach, we're going to snipe some guys off practice squads. Players that absolutely would be nice. I mean, Chad Kelly would be nice, but we don't need Chad Kelly. Um, oh, come on. Marlon Mack would be interesting at the running back spot, potentially. But we have Melvin Gordon. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was really hoping for Tariq Cohen. He's not there. I wanted Tariq Cohen. I said the very on Twitter, like I, I mean, look at that. You got uh, Corey Clement would be decent. I wanted to get, I wanted to find a way to get Tariq Cohen on this roster. Maybe I will. I might have to trade for him because he's just so, oh, man, he's so fun to play with in Madden. Uh, look at the wide receiver. So we do need a wide receiver, and we really do have like our our, our pick of some guys. We have Sherwin Peak with 94 speed, 93 speed. Sorry, Paul Primetime Turner. Hmm. I mean, Josh Malone's interesting. 
6'3 with 92 speed. You got Isaiah Ford here. We have Isaiah McKenzie, Rodney Adams, Roger Lewis, Chad Hansen from Cal, California kid. I think what we need on our team, what we don't have is a slot wide receiver. So we're going to sign Trent Taylor here off the, the practice squad of the Lions. I think he's a really talented slot wide receiver. Um, my God, there's some decent tight ends. Jake Butt got released. So did Bucky Hodges. Uh, I can't do it because I know one of the one of the Patreons wants to be a tight end, so I'm not going to do that. Look at the offensive lines. Or any way we can get some value here? Probably not. No, I'm going to say no. Defense. For some reason, there's usually some freaks in defense that should not have got released. Carlos Watkins got cut. But yeah, we're now 4 3. He's not a 4 3 end. In what world is Carlos Watkins a 4 3 end? Elijah Qualls, a D tackle. Uh, we got two else. We have Andrew Billings got cut. Caleb Brantley from Florida. Or Elijah Qualls. Uh, we'll, go Ga we'll go Gator Bias. We'll go Gator Bias just like Caleb Brantley. Right defensive end. Look, Taco Charlton just got cut. Thank you. We will take one Taco Charlton at the defensive end spot that we just lost, Melvin Gordon. Thank you very much, Madden. Appreciate it. Uh, linebacker here. We're pretty good at linebacker for the most part. And there's not a lot of guys there that have upside. We got here Josh Pear. No. Nate Gary. Nope. What do we got at secondary in the corners? We got Cam Sutton got released. Marcus Roberson. Gators. Okay, we'll get. We'll sign in Cam Sutton. I like Cam Sutton. More than I like Corn Elder. Like Corn Elder though, got some good speed to him. No, actually, we're good at corn. Now that I think about it, we have we have some decent young corners. A little strong safety here, TJ Green. There's still some upside. Delano Hill got cut. What about kicker? And more importantly, where's my boy? Did my boy get cut? Right now we have Nick Novak. I wouldn't mind getting younger at kicker. Young Hoku was terrible, but you know what? Let's go. We're not gonna be the. You want to be the team. You want to be the good story that gives Aguayo a second chance, or do we go with Zane Gonzalez, the really good rookie kicker? I, I feel like, you know what? Just for the we'll go for Aguayo just to see if we can get a his slow dev trait. What does that mean? What's this? He already has the slow. Whatever. We'll go with Aguayo as our kicker for now. Uh, and look, we still. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he had a perfect amount of spots here. So that is going to be it. Uh, we're going to simulate now to the relocation process. We'll show you all that. And then we will end up in the postseason, which we're definitely not going to be a play. Then again, you never know. Sometimes the Chargers do surprisingly well in the sim. Uh, we still got Phillip Rivers. You know, anything is possible. Hashtag Kevin Grant. Grant. Kevin Durant. Is it Kevin Durant? My God, that was KG Kevin Garnett. See, look, it's a, it's a combination. As you can tell, Madden channel people, not a basketball channel. All right, let's do that. All right, so at the mid-season point, we're, oh, we're not even mid-season. The beginning of the relocation. We're 0-4. Things are not looking good, but it is time to finally relocate the team to Mr. Portland, Oregon. Origin. I'm surprised they didn't let it go to Eugene or anything like that. So, yeah, the, the move has begun. Uh, as far as contracts and stuff, I mean, let's look right now. We might as well. Um, and who's ready to negotiate? We have a toe shoe, Brandon Oliver, Trey Boston, Josh. I mean, you know, we have a bunch of dudes. Some of them we brought in. Wait, only two guys that we did bring in. Um, you know, I feel like with Josh Gordon, we probably... We'll let him go. He has a slow dev. Maybe we'll bring him back in the long term. Looking at our team, Atoshu's really the only guy at defensive end that kind of fits what we want to bring. We're not going to overpay. We'll just offer what's the, the base that they're saying we do. The contract lengths, but that's it. We'll try one or two more times, but we're not going to overpay. I wouldn't feel much comfortable. I don't know what that deal was. If it was close to 28, I feel like I wouldn't feel, you know, he's 24, 82, 31, 31, 32, somewhere in that range would be as high as we're willing to go. But outside of that, that's really the only signing I think we're going to need to make here in year one. All right, so we're here round two trying to gertain Mr. Atoshu. Giving him a, a decent bout here, and uh, hey, there we go. We locked in Jeremiah Toshu as really the only key free agent I think we should try. Now it's time to pick the Snowhawks name, which is already determined. I was looking at it, man. This I don't know why. Some of the people like, why is the Snowhawks the less? It, it's, they have the most unique, distinct-looking jerseys. I guess you know someone said in the in the other video it's a rip-off of the Seahawks, but uh, I really I think they have the best jerseys going. 
for this relocation and probably the most unique ones that have I haven't used before. I mean, I've used the Beats, I've used the Huskies. We're gonna be rolling with the Snowbox, baby. All right, we've already started the, the scouting process on top of the players that we'll be adding from the Patreon. And we have a first round QB that looks legit. A throw power, a short throw. Those are the two big indicators you want to look for for a QB. Stanford looking like the next damn Andrew Luck. We have a decent seventh round wide receiver here. Obviously, we're going to you know a little bit better uh, what his combine grade is going to be as far as the three-cone drill and the 40-yard dash. But those are the two spots. I mean, looking at the team, offensive line is going to be big. But again, I don't ever recommend spending a lot of your points, if any, on the offensive line. Can So much can be predetermined by the bench press. Uh, looking at the back end, though, I mean, eh, you know, safety, linebacking core, deep front on the front, we definitely can look at approving there. So that is where we're going to move to next as far as our scouting is concerned. Uh, now it's time to choose the unis. And there are some tough calls. I, I really think, like, when you look at these, that looks like crappy Rams to me. I'm not a huge fan. I think these, the three, that's the jersey I like the most. Cause I, don't, I don't like the neck. The, the little blue there on the, on the front V of the neck clashes with the jersey. That there, I, the stripes just remind me of the Rams. So these are going to be our jerseys. I like those colors, man. It's like a mix of the Volunteers orange. And I don't know if that's like a gray. I'm not, I don't know. These jerseys are dope. So we're going to roll with these ones. All right, so here we are at the end of the season. Looking at our staff here, I think. Hmm, I think I'm going to make my, I'm going to make, make my own changes here to my staff. Can I fire guys right from here? Anthony Lynn, no thank you. Bad hire. Bracken, tight end scouting, no thank you. Ellis, your regression is bad. All you guys are gone. We're clearing house for the coaching staff after this Chargers team was going 5-11. So we're bottom rows in the AFC West. But 5-11 is not horrific. But you figure we might have got a couple more wins than that with Phillip Rivers as our QB. 3,900 passing yards, 24 TDs, 12 picks. Only sacked 31 times for how bad our offensive line is. That's not horrendous. Melvin Gordon didn't break 1,000 yards, 957, seven touchdowns. Oliver Vulture, 10 away from him. As far as receiving, Mike Williams as a rookie, 86 catches, 791 yards, and three touchdowns. I'll take that. 1,100 yards, 10 TDs for Tyrell Williams. Hunter Henry had 700 yards, two touchdowns. Josh Gordon, 800 yards, 16. Uh, offensive line, who was not great. Tevi, I mean, all right, whatever. But look at that, our two, oh, that was two rookies. Didn't give up a single sack. Dan Feeney or Forrest Lamp. Uh, we got defense, Jatavis Brown, 124 tackles, 122 for Perryman, 107 for Toomer, 100 for TJ McDonald. 15 and a half sacks for Toshu. damn straight we resigned him. We got 12 and a half Joey Bosa, 4 for Jatavis Brown. Uh, 4 picks from TJ McDonald, who we selected in the expansion draft. 2 for Jatavis Brown, 2 for Brett, and a couple picks spread out evenly across that. As far as yearly awards, Aaron Rodgers got himself the MVP. Coach of the year went to Adam Gase in the AFC. Tom Brady, I guess we're going to take this like a rebuild. Did we get any of our charges here before we make the re -move, relocation and move to Portland? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. I don't think we're going to get on anyone. Uh, Tyrell Williams coming at number seven for the wide receivers. Offensive line, no love for my two guards that didn't give up a sack. All right, nice. Best defensive line. We got a Toshu coming in at number four. Joey Bosa at number nine for linebackers. Jatavis Brown at number 10 for defensive backs. Oh, TJ McDonald, I thought TJ McDonald would have got on there. What about kicker? Did our boy, oh my God, oh, Nick Novak somehow was our kicker even though we did sign uh, i guess we didn't modify the depth chart which is nick novak coming at number two we will absolutely take that for the 30 i think it's going on to be 37 so our defense stood pretty tall for us this year as it's now time you know to move on throughout the off season but not a, not a great year not a bad year just a meh very very charger year so now it's time to sign our staff Look, it's that weird friggin' guy from Pro Madden that looks like he has uh, special needs. But look at this. You want, you want to know how much time they put in this game? Let's look at uh, Rob. Uh, let's look. Where was it? Down here. Trevor Poole, right? Trevor Poole. And I know he's really good. He's level 16. What about Alex Dwyer? Wow. Great game. Wait, wait, a great attention to detail here. Uh, Daniel Morgan, World Crash Regression. Well, we might as well get him. We're not going to go for all the big dogs. Uh, as far as the scout is concerned... Hardest thing. We got to get some specialties here. 
for me, hardest position to scout in this game, I would say is defensive backs. When we're looking at this offensive line, defensive line, DBs are tough. So we're going to try to go get this guy here. Level 29, Ray Woodall. We'll actually offer you a little bit more. 200K over three years because DBs are really, really tough in my opinion. This guy. As far as coaches are concerned, Anthony Lynn's shown there. What do we want for a coach? For a scheme, I want 4-3 defense. So there's only two guys. We got to go Demetrius Turner with power run 4-3. Or you have Jason Brook who has increased goal. This has to be the guy, right? Balanced offense. I mean, we can modify that. This is going to be the dude because he actually he's the only guy that has a, a, a like an additional thing, right? All right, so Jason Brook, we're going to offer you $5.1 million over that time for you to try to get him, which would be very nice to get. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's continue on this offseason of dreams. All right, so the Super Bowl in year one, like throwaway year, went to the Minnesota Vikings over the Houston Texans 27-3. to I mean, he really gives too much of a poop. Uh, but looking at our roster here, this is what we have. We have a good base to build upon. Obviously, even though we do have Phillip Rivers here, our quarterback spot is completely up in the air. Uh, we're set at running back. We have Melvin Gordon, 87. Tyrell Williams, Mike Williams, the Williams times two. The Williams squared combo at wide receiver. We still got 13K XP. He's at 78. Uh, so we got some decent XP to still spend there. Four slams up to an 85. Dan Feeney, 77. Hunter Henry's an 89. Uh, as far as defense is concerned, looking good on the defense side. We have Des King now at safety. Jatavis Brown's 81. Perriman's an 80. Uh, Collins is an 80. Bosa's an 87. Atosha's an 84 after that 15-sack year. Verrett's an 85. There are pieces on this team. Still plenty of work to do. Don't get me wrong. But I, I feel like we're trending in the right direction. And with all the picks we have in next year's draft class, if we can hit on this year, some of our monsters that we're going to try to bring in from the Patreon sponsor players. It's going to be very exciting for us to do. Uh, so, you know, that's how we're going to end this one. We're going to open up episode two. I don't know if it's going to be either. It's either going to come out uh, Thursday or Saturday. I'm leaning towards Saturday, which will give you guys that have been messaging me and stuff on Patreon. Uh, maybe you want to change your positions up. We have, you know, some much more clear. Like right now, I remember some guy wanted to be a tight end. Really with Hunter Henry here, he's one of the key pieces of our team you might want to change that up uh, i think we had a running back as well i mean you can stay with those positions just go on other teams we will make sure that we follow you along this series and for those of you guys that want to get involved here on the patreon the link is in the description below uh not mostly it helps me out uh and supports me as a youtuber but then you also get the added benefit of all these features without red app up this episode Thank you guys for watching very, very much. And until next time, it's C4. Say so it's your first time stopping by. Don't be afraid of that subscribe button. And until next time, peace out.